Kendall, the last time I saw you was at the wedding. Have you been having a good time being married to my little brother? Hello, London. So far, things have been going well, and we've been having a lot of fun being married. Well, that's wonderful to hear. I know that there are some odd things about my brother, so I was just a little worried about how things were going with him. He's not caused you any problems yet, has he? He hasn't done anything wrong yet. He's actually the perfect man for me. He'll even do things like the chores from time to time, and that's been a huge help on my end. What? He does the chores as well? I suppose he's finally starting to grow up now, hasn't he? Well, he had a lot of time living by himself, so I'm sure he learned how to care for things as an adult then. He's even turned out to be a pretty good cook. Well, that's great. By the way, from what I've heard, you're going to be quitting your job soon, right? That's right, but I'm still going to be working some at home. Kind of like a remote part-time job. Oh? That must be so nice being able to work from home like that. I've been wanting to start working remotely myself. I happen to already have two kids of my own, as you know, right? So it's been really tough for me to have to go to work when they are always so needy. I can understand that. Well, if you're planning on starting to work from home any, I can give you some advice on jobs that are currently hiring remote workers and things like that. If you want to talk sometime about that, let me know. <laughs> Thank you, Kundal. But I actually really enjoy my job helping customers in person. So I don't think I'll be able to work from home when I like to see people in person. I get that it's important for me to want to be home with my kids all the time, but I should also focus on having time to myself, right? I suppose it would be pretty draining to have to be around your kids 24 hours a day, every day. My older sister happens to have kids herself, and she's told me plenty of times that it feels like she doesn't have time to herself anymore. And she's not kidding. I'm never able to go out to lunch with any of my friends anymore. And since I've had to turn them down so much now, I'm starting to get sad thinking that they might stop liking me. You shouldn't have to be too upset about that. I'm sure they're well aware that having to raise kids is a tough job. Now that you mentioned your older sister having kids, have you ever offered to look after them for her? Well, only rarely have I had the time to watch over them for her. I guess most of the time when she's too busy to watch them, I'll go over to her house and babysit for a little while. Then, that must mean you know how to manage kids for some time, right? Well, I haven't done it a whole lot, so I wouldn't say that I'm very good at looking after kids, actually. Maybe for a day or two I can, as long as there are instructions for me to follow. Then I have a big favor to ask from you. This coming Friday, would you be able to take my two boys over to your place? My friend is going to get married then, so I'd really like to go out and see her at this gathering she's having. Is that so? And how long would you like me to look after them? Mmm, how about from lunchtime to that night? Sounds good. I, I think I can manage that. Really? Thank you so much, Kendall. That really helps me out a ton. I think it's important for you to have your own time every once in a while, so go and enjoy your friends' gathering. Uh, by the way, if there's anything your boys can't eat or have allergies to, please let me know soon. Both of my boys don't have any particular allergies, and they will eat pretty much anything you put in front of them. <laughs> as long as you're able to keep them entertained, they won't cause you any problems. Alright then. However, there aren't really any toys over at my place. So having them bring the toys they want to play with over to the house would help me out. No way. They don't need to bring any toys over. <laughs> as long as you have a TV for them to watch or some YouTube to put on, they'll behave. Is that really all they need? I feel like having them only be entertained by that for such a long time isn't really good for them. Is it alright for me to take them to a park nearby to play then as well? Sure, do whatever you want with them. Once it's time for dinner, I'll come around to pick them both up. I hope you're looking forward to seeing the two on Friday. And thank you again for this. London, when do you plan on coming over to pick up your boys? I'm getting ready to make dinner here soon. Ugh, I'm sorry. 
Can you please make dinner for those two as well tonight? Do you feel that you won't get here until later tonight? Yeah. Right now the husband is on a business trip, so I wanted to have a little bit more time to myself before having the boys come back home to me. Alright then, um, I completely understand you wanting to have as much time to yourself as possible, but having to take on your boys every day is getting a bit too... Well, I happen to have work to do myself. You're working from home, though, so you can still get all of that done with them around, right? But your kids happen to still be pretty young, right? Three and five? If I take my eyes off of them to do some work, they will get themselves into all kinds of trouble. And then, how about before taking my boys around lunchtime? You finish up all of your work for the day. I can't bring them both over there until the oldest gets out of preschool, after all. So you have all mornings get what needs to get done, done. But there are days where I have a larger workload that carries over into the afternoon. Well, that is something you have to manage yourself then. It's not like I'm asking you to take my boys all day, every day. And I can see why you might say that. But there are other things that I have to get done during the day as well, like going out shopping. I would really like it if you started to keep your kids over at your place some each week. Wait. <laughs> I happen to be your husband's older sister, right? Are you really sure you can say something like that to me? What are you trying to get at there? Are you trying to get on my mom's bad side or something? Why would this have anything to do with your mom? Well, I happen to be your actual daughter, correct? I am able to get to her about anything I want, and I can say whatever I want about you since she is my mom after all. So, depending on how I talk about you to her, things might not go so well for you in the future. Do you understand that? Don't you feel as though you're being a little threatening now? Oh no, now you're going to blame me like that? Scary. <laughs> I might have to go and tell my mom now that you're trying to hurt me. <laughs> But I didn't mean that as a way of hurting you. But I'm trying to tell you that I can say whatever I want about you, and my mom will believe every bit of it. I think you should be more aware of that before you start talking back to me like you were just a little bit ago. My mom will have to listen to either the outsider who became my brother's wife and her actual daughter. And who do you think she's going to believe? London. I would really like if you would stop acting like a fifth grader. Then you'd better start listening to what I'm telling you, alright? I don't want any more of that back talking from you now. It all comes down to how you treat me that'll affect what I tell my mom about you. Understood. You happen to not have any children and get the luxury of working from home. So you can do whatever you want with your schedule, right? And by having my boys over every day, you can start to practice raising kids for when you someday have some of your own. I am being very kind to you right now by letting you use my boys to learn about how to be a mom yourself. But if you keep having me take care of your boys, I think my husband will become upset with you. And that's a part of your job as well as his wife. You need to keep him from doing or saying anything stupid about all of this. And most important of all, you need to make sure you listen to everything I tell you. Oh, that's right. When I come over to pick up my boys today, can you lend me your bag? My bag? Well, remember the last time we all went out to dinner together? I saw you carrying a very high brand bag that looked amazing with your outfit. I'm sure that thing cost you a pretty penny, right? This happens to be the purse I got from my recently deceased grandma. I'm not sure I can lend it to you. Come on now, just let me borrow it for a bit. Are you being stingy now? It happens to be a bag that I take very good care of, so I'm not sure I want to lend it to anyone. I'm, so I'm just asking for you to let me use it for a little, you jerk. Give it to me. Sorry, but you need to stop asking that. Say that all you want, but I'm not going to stop asking. I'm sure your grandma would be happy with other people being allowed to use her purse as well, right? <laughs> so there you go. It's been decided. You don't have any right telling me not to come get it. 
If you still try to keep it from me, then I might start telling my mom about this. Is that what you want? All right. I get it. You should have been understanding of me from the start. You need to stop being such a little jerk, all right? Now, when I'm on my way over to get the boys, I'll give you a call. Until then, please take good care of them. <laughs> good morning, London. I don't think I'll be able to have your boys over today. There are some things going on that I need to attend to right now. Huh? What's that? Well, I happen to not be feeling well right now, so I should take care of myself today and stay in bed. Hmm. <clears throat> then go right ahead and stay in bed. I'll just leave my boys there and they can play by themselves. I'm pretty sure my husband has warned you about this already. He doesn't want you sending your kids over here every single day anymore. Listen here, Kendall. Are you still not fully aware of this? If he starts to get upset with me, then I'm going to become even more pissed back at him. Now, your job as his wife is to keep something like that from ever happening, right? So would you stop slacking off already? And there is a limit to all of that, unfortunately. Recently, it's become quite common for you to leave your boys here overnight while you go off to do things on your own. Even my husband is starting to find that quite strange of you. And you should be telling my brother to shut the hell up when he starts to question what I'm doing. I happen to be holding on to that very important purse of yours right now. Or perhaps it would be okay for me to put my own special design on it. Or even better, the tags are still on it, so I might just go and sell it for a decent price. <laughs> stop that right now. I am asking you to please stop saying things like that about the purse. Also, I would really like for you to give me that bag back. Well, well, well. Maybe you shouldn't have lent it to me then, you idiot. You were the one threatening me to give it to you before, right? It honestly is starting to really piss me off a lot right now to have to sit here talking to you. I'm starting to remember you as that stupid quiet kid that sat in the back of one of my classes. I'm not going to sit here and let you start to talk back to me like that when you are nothing more than a loser. Especially when all that back talking will do you no good. <laughs> I remember back when you left the class because you couldn't get over how much I would pick on you. Perhaps I'll do that again, until you divorce my brother. <laughs> I will not ever divorce my husband. Then you're going to have to listen to every little thing I tell you. I'm going to be bringing my boys over to your house, like I've been doing every day for the longest time now. I happen to have a bad fever, though. Ever since this morning, it's been going up and up in temperature. Right now, I'm sitting at 101 degrees. I am not currently in a state where I can look after two boys. Huh? And you think I give a crap about any of that? It's your own fault for not taking better care of your health. So I am not going to change the plans I already have for you. So you make things happen right now, so that when I get over there with my boys, you can manage them. <laughs> I'm not joking. Today is not okay for me. Please. Just let me have the day off so that I can rest. You come over here and get your kids right now. Huh? What was with that tone of voice? Have you started to go insane from that fever or something, Kendall? <laughs> I am not Kendall. Huh? Then who the hell is this? Don't tell me you're her second personality or something. <laughs> You cut all of that crap right now, Missy. I want you to get your butt right back over to Kendall's house this instant. I have no clue what your plans are with this, but do you have any idea who you're talking to right now? Don't you dare start talking to your sister-in-law with a mouth like that. Perhaps I'd be better have you kicked out of the family now. <laughs> I can say whatever I want to my mom right now, and she'll listen to me. Is that what you want me to do to you? Ugh. There really is no helping you anymore. Understood. I'm not going to be kicking Kendall out of this family. Rather, my own daughter will be kicked out. Daughter? Your own daughter? Did you fall and hit your head on something, Kendall? <laughs> I am not Kendall, you moron. 
I am your mother, and right now I'm having you to text you from Kendall's smartphone. What? Mom? This is a stupid joke, isn't it? You think anybody would be joking during a time like this? I've taken a good look through all the messages you and Kendall have been sending back and forth. But after I finished reading through everything, I was so upset with you that I couldn't handle it anymore. So I took the phone from her and started replying you in her place. So, this is really you, Mom? That's what I'm trying to tell you. So what the hell is going on here? Why are you sending both your kids over to your little brother's house every single day to be taken care of by Kendall? You have it all wrong, Mom. I have lots of things going on myself right now. Tell me what all those things are, then. Well, my husband's salary was cut, so now I'm having to work a lot more often to make up for that. So because of that, I've been having Kendall take care of the boys while I'm out of the house. Right now, the only job you're working requires you to go in twice a week, right? And I'm saying to bring in more money, I've had to go to work more. I don't want to start worrying about money as though we were in trouble. I've been saying things to Kendall about how I'm taking this time to enjoy myself, but really, I've been having to go to work every day. So then, you won't mind me giving your place to work a call right now about you. I'm going to make sure you're telling the truth. No, wait. I'm not so sure any of the managers will tell you about one of their employees' schedules. So you want me to go there in person and ask to see my daughter's schedule? I could ask one of your co-workers to help me out with this. I'm sure if I just started to ask around your workplace, someone would be willing to tell me. It's okay for me to go and ask about you, right? I am your mother, after all. I'm sorry. I was lying about all of that. But I'm tired of taking care of the kids all the time. If I don't have some time to myself, then I'm not sure what could happen to me mentally. Then what you should be doing is talking to either your husband about this or me, right? Why have you been forcing Kendall to take care of all your problems for you? If I started to talk to you or my husband about this, you guys would begin to worry about things. I've been planning to take them both back once I become refreshed again. So you thought you could just hand your kids off to her seven days a week? Who the hell do you think she is? And what's this about you coming to me and saying bad things about her if she told you no? And you threatening to destroy or sell her bag if she talked back to you? You have just been using her for your benefit, and now you're going to bring up the past where you pegged on her and forced her out of that class? What the actual frick are you doing right now, woman? You have it all wrong, Mom. I was just trying to add a little flavor to the conversation was all. I just wanted her to know that I could pick on her like that again if I really wanted to. Well then, I'm going to have to look into that as well. I can't believe a word you're saying to me right now. Adding a little flavor to the conversation? Anywho, for the time being, I don't want you coming anywhere near the rest of my family once you've come and gotten your boys. Do you hear me? I'm sorry, Mom. I'm coming to get my kids right now, okay? You should not be apologizing to me right now, and you know that. And I'm going to apologize to Kendall as well, so can you please forgive me? Well, you've been doing some pretty unforgivable things these past few months, right? From what my grandkids are telling me, when their dad isn't around, you're not all that kind to them. I'm going to bring up all of this to your husband when I get the chance. You better be ready for what happens after that. I don't want you going to him about this. We all know he's going to get upset with me over this. As he should. You were the one doing things that you knew would piss him off. But he just won't be getting pissed at me. This might lead to the two of us having to get a divorce then. And I'm sure that's true. But this is all going to happen because of what you've been doing, right? I think it's totally right that he divorce you and take the kids because you don't deserve to have a family of your own after all that I've had to witness. I'm sorry, Mom. I made some really bad choices this time. I really want to go and apologize to Kendall now. If she's still over there with you, I want to hand the phone back to her. Right now, Kendall has a very high fever. Then I'll come over there and apologize in person. Uh, give me one second. Kendall is telling me that she does not have the energy to see you in person right now, so she will settle with having you text her instead. All right. London, this is Kendall. I want my grandmother's purse back, please. Kendall? I'm so sorry. I'll give you the bag back as soon as possible. Good. Now, I'm sure that you and I will never be meeting one another again, so goodbye. Wait a second, Kendall. I am really, really sorry about what happened this time. I took advantage of the fact that you are a really kind person. 
You didn't take advantage of me being a kind person. You were just using the fact that you were my older sister-in-law as a way to take control of me. Even when I was telling you no, you kept on forcing me to do as you wanted. Okay, I know that, and I am so very sorry for that. I don't need to hear that from you anymore. This really isn't even about me anymore. I feel far worse about both of your boys. I'm going to talk with your husband about all that's happened, and hopefully he can find a way to remedy your inability to raise your two boys. Please, please don't say anything to my husband. I have to. Even your mom is going to say some things to him about this. I promise that I've learned my lesson from everything I did to all of you. I also promise from now on that I'll do anything and everything that you ask me to do. So would you please leave my husband out of all of this and tell my mom that we will make things right? I want you to please leave all of this between you and I. What are you talking about, London? Your mom is right here and is able to see everything and won't ignore it any longer. Just seeing what you said right there has put a huge frown on her face. I'm sure you're already aware that she doesn't want you in her family anymore, right? I'm sorry. I was such an idiot for all of that. I will never do anything like all of that again. So please, give me a chance to change my ways and make things right. And the one who will be making that decision will be your husband, London. From now on, your mom, my husband, and myself will have nothing else to do with you. Ah, uh, if you leave him to deal with me, then the two of us will most likely get a divorce. And that will lead to both my sons having to go and live with him for the rest of their childhoods without me around them as much. I see that as a win for both your kids and your husband. I mean, you were having me raise your kids for a lot of the time recently, and you didn't seem to mind not seeing your boys. I feel that to everyone, including yourself, it's probably better that you don't have any kids anymore. There's no way people think that. I was just trying to get a breath fresh air is all. And I thought by having you take care of my boys for a while, you'd come to understand that as well. It is awful having to raise kids. And that's why you shouldn't have any kids. To be honest, I don't even think it's that bad raising and caring for kids. What I find bad is thinking one can call themselves a mother and then hand their kids off to be raised by someone else for long periods of time so that they don't have to deal with them. So in your case, you're not a mother at all. <sighs> I'm sorry. You can apologize all you want, but it's not going to change a thing now. If it's taken you over a month and a half to catch a fresh breath of air, then I'm not so sure you have cared at all about your boys. I think it's best you get that divorce and let your husband have full custody of the two. Don't say something like that to me. When you have kids of your own, I promise to be there to take them from you when you need a break. No matter what you ask me to do, I'll do it. I'll do anything you need me to do until the day you find that you can forgive me. Don't need you to do anything for me. No, I'll do everything for you. So please don't cut ties to me. I promise to never ever cause you any problems ever again, okay? And if you're willing to forgive me over all of this, then I think my mom will be willing to listen to me again as well. So what you're wanting to happen is for everyone to just forget about what you've been doing this whole time? Well, that's not what I mean. But, um... What you're trying to have happen right now is exactly that. Hence why you keep asking me to forgive you. Also, I would never ask for you to do anything for me especially if it came to asking you to help me with my kids. I am not the same monster that you are, and I will never leave my kids in the hands of a stranger for weeks on end, all to just get a breath of fresh air. So you not being around my family after today will not pose a problem for anyone. I'm sorry. I will become a great mother again. Please, Kendall. Please don't take my right of being a mother away from me. And that's why I'm leaving all of that up to your husband to decide. He will be the one to choose whether you continue to be a mother or not. I have nothing else to say about you. If you really want to be a mother again, then you handle all of that yourself instead of begging me to forgive you. 
From there, London came all the way back to our house so that she could pick up both of her boys from us. However, that did not get her her mother's forgiveness. And soon after that, London had the difficult conversation with her husband, and it was decided that they'd get a divorce. But the reason for it wasn't what anyone thought. It so happened that she had been cheating on her husband with another man, and that's why he wanted the divorce. London had tried pleading to her husband that she was just having fun with the guy and that it was nothing serious. But saying things like that only made him more angry, and he told her that he would not hold back when it came time for him to get a settlement from her. In the end, she lost her custody of both the boys and also lost all connections to her family. This then led to her having to move into her own little apartment, where she is now working sunrise to sunset for the money she owes her husband, as well as child support. She's been calling her husband every day for a while now, trying to apologize to him for everything. But soon he became so pissed off that he muted her contact and now ignores her calls. Along with that, London has been trying to get in touch with me again to apologize to me for what happened back in high school, but I'm not biting. I'm sure to her she doesn't feel as though all of that was a big deal back then. But after she reminded me of all that happened, I've only grown to hate her more. Honestly, I'm not all that worried about what happens to London next during her downward spiral. But I just hope her kids never have to hear about her again. When it comes to myself and how I'm living now, I have to say that I'm doing great not having to deal with London anymore. I was also able to get my grandma's bag back from her in the same shape I lent it to her in, so that's left me feeling a lot of relief. London's ex-husband soon moved back home with his boys back to his parents' house. But every so often he'll bring them over to my mother-in-law's house where I can go to see them again. Ever since London had started cheating, she would ignore all of her kids' needs, leaving them in the worst states possible at times. So in order to fight back against all those horrible memories the boys have of her and the life they were forced to live, I will make sure to play with them as much as possible. I'm sure that just by playing with them, it won't be very much to them, but hopefully over time this will leave an imprint in their memories of people that are nicer than their mom. Thank you for watching and listening. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Also, feel free to leave a comment about what you thought of the story. We look forward to seeing you at the next story.